Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Friday, June the 11th, 2021. And this morning, we have two prayer intentions. We pray this morning for Ms. Kavik's cousin, Eric Wade, who suddenly passed away. And so Ms. Kavik is requesting all of our prayers and thoughts on this day. And we also continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Anthony Russo, a grade 11 student here at Cardinal Ambrosic, who suddenly passed away earlier this week. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And now together, please join me as we pray each and every Friday our school prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the feet with which he goes about doing good, and yours are the hands with which he is to bless us now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic, and uh, we do have a few updates for you regarding uh, the funeral arrangements, as well as uh, our service planning for uh, Anthony Russo. So just to let everyone know, uh, because of COVID restrictions, and as well because of the requests of the family, uh, there will be a private viewing and private funeral service uh, for Anthony on Monday. So this will only be attended by the family and close relatives. There will be no online, um, uh, no online viewing of the actual funeral service and no live streaming. And so we wanted to pass that information to you, like I said, um, because of COVID or ongoing COVID restrictions, but also because of the requests of the family. And I know there have been many, many students uh, as well as staff that have reached out to ask how they can help we really, really, really need to honor and respect the wishes of the family. And so there will be a private service on Monday. And again, uh, including a private visitation with no uh, live streaming of the actual mass. Um, but, but we do have an opportunity as a school community uh, to continue to uh, mourn Anthony's passing. Uh, first of all, let us continue to pray because prayer works and this is what the family has requested from us, that we continue to pray. And so we will do that. We will continue to pray daily. But we will have two opportunities as a school community to mourn Anthony's loss, but also to remember him. The first opportunity will come next week. Uh, I am confirming with Father Vito a funeral mass, which will be either live streamed or it will be taped for all of us to then view on YouTube. That will take place either next Wednesday, June the 16th, or Thursday, June the 17th. Again, I will have more information for you on Monday, and I will be able to confirm the exact date with you. But we will have a funeral mass that Father Vito at St. Patrick's Parish uh, will celebrate uh, for the repose of the soul of Anthony Russo. And as well, on Wednesday, June the 23rd, at 11 a.m., we will have a funeral service for Anthony. This will be a service in which our full school um, body, our student body, as well as our staff, um, all support staff, uh, everyone in the building will be able to share uh, um, uh, in memory of Anthony. Again, that'll be at 11 a.m. on June the 23rd next week. I know there have been many students as well as teachers that have reached out to help. I will be in touch with you next week and we can begin planning for that service. Uh, so again, that's June the 23rd. As more and more information comes available, I will certainly pass that on. Continuing then forward, um, let, us, um, let us remember the following. Uh, immediately following morning announcements, I will include one more time for teachers the bereavement resource list attachment, as well as the PowerPoint presentation. I know you've had a go at it now for a couple of days. It is there uh, for your use. It is there um, down the road. Sometimes um, things will manifest themselves after the fact. Uh, some people may respond immediately. Others may take some time to mourn because everyone mourns differently. And so I know that those lists will be provided again today. Also, as you can see, I'm here at the school today. I will be here all school day. My extension number is 27312, and my email is angelo.minardi at dpcdsb.org. Uh, I will be visiting a class at 9 a.m., and then as well, I have um, a meeting with a staff member at 11 a.m. Therefore, if you need any support during the school day outside of those times that I just mentioned, you can either directly, um, you can call me on my uh, extension 27312 
or you can email me and I will respond. As well, as you know, we have Ms. Jones who is available as well as Mr. Fullen. Uh, certainly our administration is available. I believe we have Ms. Badalini who will be in the school today as well, uh, as well as guidance counselors and your teachers. So we want to ensure that all students know that you are supported, uh, supported by caring and loving adults in the building. And so uh, if you need any support, whether it be on the phone, on video, uh, we are here to support you. And finally, today I will leave uh, or I will attach for one final day the uh, condolences, uh, the virtual condolences card. Uh, so you will be able, again, we've had many, many people fill that out uh, to leave any messages. Those messages will be compiled. They'll be put together nicely for the family. And so we will then uh, send those to the family uh, so they can review and, and read all the beautiful comments and well wishes and, and condolences. So you have until the end of the day today to fill that out if you wish to participate, uh, as well if you wish to participate in the service and in the planning of our uh, memorial service for Anthony on the 23rd, uh, you can indicate that as well on that Google form. Okay, I hope I've uh, said as much as I can regarding uh, the funeral arrangements and, and moving forward in the next few weeks. Uh, of course, if I did forget anything, Monday I will be able to continue sharing that with you. All right, let's get to... Um, Two, two final things. The first one is I wanted to give out a big shout out to Miss Venier's grade 12 Comtech students who have come up with this amazing idea to create a CA opener video that will precede our morning announcement. So as you know, I come on every morning with my good morning, Karnam Rosic. Well, this CA opener video will precede that. And so uh, we need your help, all of the staff and students, in deciding and voting for your favorite opener. All voting though is due by 3 p.m. today. That's right, all voting is due by 3 p.m. today. Uh, don't miss out on this opportunity to participate in our morning announcements. I have included after morning announcements a Google Drive, which all teachers will receive, in which you will see all of these submissions for the CA opener videos. I am asking teachers and we all need a break. So maybe this is our break this morning. It's been a long, long week to take 10 to 15 minutes this morning, immediately following morning announcements to review these submissions. Uh, the submissions are maybe 20 second clips, if that 10 to 20 second clips, and there's about 12 or 13 of them. So it'll take you about, I don't know, four, five, six minutes to view them, but then you'll be able to uh, view them a second time if needed and then vote on them. So you will have included the opener, the CA opener videos, the Google Drive, so simply click on that and you'll be able to see all of them one after the other. And then immediately following that, there is a vote link, which we're gonna ask you also to fill out immediately after seeing the videos. And then Monday morning, um, rather than hearing Minority. Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. We will have this CA opener that will then bring Mr. Minardi on for the morning announcements. This is exciting. This was an initiative um, by the students. The students had come forward. Ms. Venya had presented it to me. Uh, she had shown me some of the videos. They're absolutely amazing. They're so unique, all of them. And um, I just thought it would be a great idea to have everyone vote on it together. So there you go. That's where we are with that. So don't uh, don't miss out on this opportunity. Deadline is today at 3 p.m. Uh, thank you again to Ms. Venya's grade 12 contact students. CA opener video. Please have your say. And finally, uh, we've been praying all week. We've been praying all week for so many things. Uh, one of them has been uh, for the indigenous peoples of Kamloops, B.C. And if you remember, I made a plea with you. Um, I was asking you to please pray for Pope Francis, that if we were going to ever have um, an apology made, a formal statement, a formal apology made, that I believe that Pope Francis is the person to help us do that, is the person to lead us in that. I want to read to you some excerpts of a statement that the uh, Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops uh, issued to Rome, to the, to, to the Pope, um, in their commitment to responding uh, to the residential school system in Canada. And let me read to you some of these excerpts because prayer does work. And I believe that Pope Francis will do the right thing. And this is a big, big step in that. Let me read this to you. So this statement was prepared by the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops. It was issued late last night. And so I'm reading it just um, for the second time this morning. And I'll read to you a, a bit of the a letter 
um, as a response to how we will um, move forward and um, uh, hopefully acknowledge our, our sinfulness and acknowledge the wrongs that we did to the indigenous peoples as a church. And I believe that Pope Francis will lead us in that. So let, let, me, let me read to you some excerpts, and I quote, the, the Catholic bishops in Canada are deeply committed to take truly meaningful, active steps together with indigenous peoples in view of a future filled with greater respect and cooperation. The recent discovery of children's remains at a burial site of a former residential school in Kamloops, British Columbia, remind us of a tragic legacy still felt today. With the strong encouragement of Pope Francis, the bishops of Canada have pledged true and deep commitment to renewing and strengthening relationships with indigenous peoples across the land. In conversation with indigenous peoples and communities, both at the local and national levels, and bilaterally with the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit national organizations, the bishops, sponsors of a project, sponsors of this project that they have been preparing for over two years now, will have a delegation of indigenous people meet with the Holy Father to foster meaningful encounters of dialogue and healing. The pastoral visit will include the participation of a diverse group of elders, knowledge keepers, residential school survivors, and youth from across the country of Canada. The event will likewise provide Pope Francis with a unique opportunity to hear directly from indigenous peoples, to meet with him personally, to express his heartfelt closeness, to address the impact of colonization and the implication of the church into the residential school system, so as to respond to the suffering of indigenous peoples and the ongoing effects of intergenerational trauma. The bishops remain committed to moving forward with the delegation, including the encounter with Pope Francis prior to the end of this year, 2021, in compliance with international travel guidelines. We have to hope. We have to hope and we have to keep praying. So as we remember Anthony, as we remember, um, you know, uh, the, the, the tragedy laid upon our indigenous peoples, the continued trauma, keep praying. We need to continue praying. It does work. And so let us continue to pray for the church, for, for Pope Francis, for all of our indigenous peoples, uh, knowing that God's love is so merciful. God's love is so abundant and God wants nothing more than to share that love and mercy with us. Uh, and isn't that really what the sacred heart of Jesus is? And isn't that what we've been praying for nine days uh, for the novena of the sacred heart of Jesus? Um, let us continue to do that. Cardinal Ambrosic, hey, God bless you. I love you all and um, have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend and we'll see you back here on Monday.